Hello everyone, uh, if you are new users, I think uh, you should watch this video because I will talk in brief about uh, the user interface of QGIS and show some troubleshooting in QGIS as well. So when you install the QGIS application, here is the interface of the QGIS application that you firstly install. Uh, on the left you have layers, you have browser panels, you have geoprocessing engine, you have menu bar on the top. And you think that uh, some menu bars are different from yours. Uh, it's actually different because I have activated some menu bars uh, differently from you. So th the way I do this, I right click on my menu bars and I can uh, add some uh, tools that I need. So for example, in the case that you have the delete your menu bar, delete all your tools over here. So you want to call all of them back, just right click. And you then you want to call layer panel, so you get the layer panel back. And if you want to call the geoprocessing toolbox, you get the geoprocessing toolbox back. So you want the browser tool panel, so I get everything the same back. For the geoprocessing toolbox, you can see the the toolbox here. Just click open and turn it off. Up to you. You can use this one. And uh, some of your installation, you have the problem that you don't see geoprocessing geo processing toolbox. Uh, I think it's a bug on QGIS. Like for example, uh, some of your installation, you don't, you cannot find the geoprocessing toolbox over here, and and even in the panel, you cannot find the geoprocessing toolbox. And when you click on the vector, you cannot get anything. So uh, it is a bug. So the way that you need to do it, go to manage and the plugin. And then you can go to all and you search for processing. And you go see here. So you may, you may need to install the core plugin of the geoprocessing. So the way to install it, just click processing. And then you click close. So everything is done. So uh, that you go to vector, you have the vector tool back and you go here. So you can get, you should get the geoprocessing toolbox. So you have the processing toolbox over here. And the processing toolbox here is organized based on the categories of your tool for the database connection management or categories or some analysis like raster and vector. And you also have plugin uh, tools like Gdoll and Grass and Saga and uh, for when you click on the vector, you have the generic uh, your processing tool like clip, buffer, the show intersect. You have a search tool for creating a grid, or we call in the past we call fish line, fish net, and you can create the random points, and you can create the some intersect and some data management like merge and split clusters. Uh, in these videos, I'll show you two uh, useful tool on the QGIS that uh, you may need for your study. Uh, the first one is the way that you can add the, the, the best maps. Like for example, you want to add the satellite image to your maps. So I can see the very beautiful image here and it's free of clouds and it's the Bing map that you can choose for your map mapping or for your reference as your best map. So you need to install the tool called uh, Open Ledger Plugin. So to install this plugin, you just go to plugin and go to manage and install plugin. Uh, it's a little bit uh, a tricky to install this plugin. Uh, let me show you why it's a little bit tricky because this plugin is, plugin is uh, experimental. So uh, before you you need to uh, click show experimental plugin. If you don't click here, you cannot find the open your plugin. So you need to click here and click all and you search for open layer and you will get the plugins over here and do the installation. Click here for installation. So I installed it already so I can add a different type of uh, best map that I want. If I want the open suite maps, I want Google Maps and currently Google Maps is not working. Uh, I don't know why. Uh, hope it will work in the future. As you can see here, you get a development purpose only. I don't know why. And you get this one. And another tool that uh, I want to show you, uh, another useful plugin, we call it a point sampling tool. 
Point sampling tool is very important that you may use for doing your sample points. Like for example, you want to create 5,000 random points and, and then you want to extract the, your, your point, your value from your raster into your point. So here is the best tools. In the next video, I will show you how you can use this tool. And here is uh, the goal of the video. If you have any question, uh, let me know.